All right, here we go. Welcome to Conquer and Commander. Today we're going to be looking at a game featuring my Grim Grin Corpse Born deck. For the complete deck list, go to puremtgo.com. Look up my article series, Conquer and Commander. You should see the deck list there. I should also at some point have a link to the uh, deck list in the video description here as well. Let's take a look at my opponents. Over here we have Mirko Vosk, Mind Drinker, obviously a mill theme. Sometimes you'll find these mill decks <coughs> use um, a bunch of reanimation and stuff like that. This guy just goes straight mill, so good for him for using this vampire. We've also got Erebus, God of the Dead. Um, a variety of strategies. I've seen a couple different ones, um, but mostly they're mono black control. Uh, a lot of times because of the fact that um, the opponents can't gain life, they, they end up running a decent amount of life gain effects as well. So, um, Erebos is uh, interesting as well. Finally, we've got Nath of the Guilt Leaf, a little bit of discard. Um, so, when you combine the discard with the milling, uh, people's resources are going to be kind of stretched thin. Also, with Nath decks, sometimes they're elf decks as well. One thing to note about this group is that there's no white at the board um, and there's no red, but the red isn't as important. The white means uh, a little lack of sweepers as well as enchantment and uh, artifact removal. Yes, Nath is here playing green, but it just reduces the amount that everybody's running. Um, I've got four lands in my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this bad boy. Let's see what we uh, end up doing. Mirko goes first turn Hedron Crab which is uh, keeping with the mill theme. I'm not really going to go over the stuff that gets milled, um, but interestingly, and I just passed it up, Nath had Kozilek milled in his graveyard. Uh, so not only is uh, Nath going to avoid getting milled out, but he is playing the legendary Eldrazi. I've got a whole lot of nothing going on right now. Nath goes ahead and uses Demonic Tutor. Erebos plays Withered Wretch, which is going to be effective in controlling people's graveyards. Um, Hedron Crab hits uh, Erebos, and it revealed something interesting. What did it reveal? I don't remember. Oh, it was, um, it was the Tutor from your graveyard that doubles up. God, I'm completely forgetting. You can tutor for two cards. It's not Diabolic Revelation. I don't know. Whatever. Somebody mention it in the comments. So I go ahead and Bajuka Bog Erebos. Oh, here it is. Increasing Ambition. Um, I didn't want him to deal to do that. So, oh, and then um, Nath gets Bajuka Bogged as well. Mirko starts to mill me and gets a couple of decent cards and then plays Sanity Grinding, hitting the Nath player. It's interesting that he chose the Nath player because, uh, you know, mills 11 cards, but Nath again is running Kozilek. So I would figure he would uh, start targeting um, other people. But let's take a look at the stuff that Mirko has in his deck. He's got Mind Grind, Mesmeric Orb. Cast Through Time, which is interesting. Mind Sculpt, Chase Memory Adept, Chase's Archivist, Rexial, and Keening Stone. So yeah, that's a hardcore mill deck. Um, I've got Phyrexian Arena I draw into, and I'm going to go ahead and play it. Phyrexian Arena is a good card. Nath goes ahead and plays Oracle of Moldiah, revealing Sangromancer. Uh, the Withered Wretch starts exiling stuff. Erebos plays Grave Pact, which is going to keep uh, creatures under control. The Hedron Crab mills somebody else. Mind Funeral targets the Erebos player. Hits a bunch of fun stuff. And then he Thought Scours somebody. Oh, Nath. He's not hitting me at all. I think he might be worried about my recursion. I'm not sure. Interestingly, he plays Illness in the ranks. Creature tokens get minus one, minus one. Normally, this is a card that you wouldn't expect to see played or have much of an effect on the board, but we will see later that it does, as a matter of fact. 
So I go ahead and draw on the counter spell. I play Flashback Marauder, and it basically wipes the board. It gets rid of the Riddle Keeper as well. Uh, Nath comes out. Uh, Erebos plays uh, Crypt Ghast, which is a good way to pump up his mana. Nemesis of Reason. That's another fun little middle card. So I'm going to hold off right now. Uh, the Erebos player uses the Diamond Valley to sacrifice his Crypt Ghast to keep the creatures under control and get rid of Nath. Nath's trigger is still on the stack, however, and Nath targeted Erebos with the discard. This is also going to wipe the creatures off the board as well. Vraska comes out and gets a plus one. Erebos comes out. There's an Urborg out there somewhere. Mirko Vosk comes out. I go ahead and play Cruel Revival, getting rid of Mirko Vosk and bringing my Marauder back to my hand. I draw into Geth and Evil Twin. I play Diagraph Captain and Phyrexian uh, Metamorph copying the Captain. Not everybody likes that idea, however. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse takes out the Grave Pact. He plus one's Vraska. Uh, Erebos pays man life to draw a card. Play Solemn Simulacrum. Grave Pact is gone, which is helpful. Mirko plays M Hive Mind. Um, yeah, that's not good. Um, so first, okay, Hive Mind is out there. <laughs> uh, Nath waits until the Hive Mind resolves to putrefy one of my captains. Uh, there aren't really a whole lot of other ar artifacts or creatures out there, so Solemn Simulacrum is going to die, and both of my dudes are going to die. Um, Erebo sacks his uh, Solemn to gain some life. My turn. I draw Shizo, and I play Gef. Because I figure I can start getting stuff out of my graveyard now. Vraska ultimates. Unfortunately, the assassins from Vraska's ultimate uh, die due to illness in the ranks. <laughs> So that's a big whoops. And then there's Geth's Grimoire, which is going to help with the discard. Erebos draws another card. He's just hitting land drops. Mirko plays Memory Jar. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and then sacks it. And it's going to make Nath draw a whole mess extra cards with all the discarding that happens at the end of the turn. So I lose. I get sever the bloodline in my graveyard. Vengeful Dead is in my graveyard now. Shepherd of Rot and Endless Ranks. There's the Grimoire. That's gonna take a little bit here, but it will end up uh, showing Nath drawing a ton of cards here. Oh, Kozilek goes back into uh, Nath's graveyard as well. So yeah, let's just take a look over here. Uh, Erebus also has Mystifying Maze and Buried Ruin. And there it is. So that's worth um, remembering. Oh, Beast Within targets my Geth. I'm going to use it to get rid of the Hive Mind. Somebody else gets rid of my Frexian Arena. And I think the Grimoire goes away too. And I use as a last ditch effort, uh, I use Geth to steal a Stole Ring out of somebody's graveyard. And I go ahead and I attack uh, Mirko Vosk with both my dudes. And then I've got enough mana now to play Army of the Damned. But they're all tiny, small at least, due to illness in the ranks. So there's Mock's Diamond and Mana Crypt. So Nath's just going to try and empty his hand. 
and then Sylvan Primordial, which is going to blow up my Soul Ring, uh, Dimir Aqueduct, and Diamond Valley. Erebos uses it to draw a card. He gets a few more forests out there and then plays Reassembling Skeleton. And Hex Parasite. I'm a little interested as to why he's playing Hex Parasite. Because um, I rarely see this card played. And usually it's with Dark Depths. But he, he says he doesn't have Dark Depths in, in, his, uh, in his deck. Erebos draws another card. And another card. And then play Sepulchral Primordial. There should be a decent amount of stuff in the graveyards, but he only grabs one creature, and that's... Oh, no, he grabs the Primordial and Chancellor. The Primordial gets rid of uh, lands, the Reliquary Tower of Nath, my Shizo, and an Island of Mirko Vosk. And he uses the Chancellor to cast a uh, Thought Scour. He admits this was a mistake because he thought Thought Scour... Uh, target to hit everybody and not just one person. So he wanted to draw a couple of cards off it. So obviously he can't ramp with the Primordial. I've got Evil Twin, however. Mirko Vosk's, um, nobody cares about illness in the ranks. And Mirko Vosk keep, keeps getting his uh, lands hit. He plays uh, Curse of the Bloody Tome, ta targeting Erebos. I use, um, oh yeah, okay, so stop here. Um, the Mirko player is complaining because he's getting his lands blown up. I'm going to use Evil Twin to blow up, uh, or to copy Sylvan Primordial to get rid of Illness of the Ranks, like Mystifying Maze, and I think Mox Diamond. So there it is. Yeah, Mox Diamond and Mystifying Maze. You know, this is another game where everybody starts copying the, primor the Primordial. I use Jesse and Zombies to search up a Watery Grave and play it. I mistapped my land here. Stop. I send a bunch of dudes after Mirko. Um, yeah, yeah, I mistapped my land. Uh, or maybe I didn't. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, I send a bunch of dudes after Mirko because he's high on life. Um, and I keep back a few blockers just in case I'm, you know, people send them after me. And Mirko concedes. Alright. So let's see what uh, Nath has in store for us. Plays another land. And then plays Boundless Realms. I kind of wish I had Counterspell Mana up, but I do not. And then plays Phyrexian Altar and Sangromancer, which may end up gaining him a decent amount of life. And then he has to discard a bunch of stuff. It's all lands, pretty much. Erebos is tapping a whole mess of mana, but I don't think he's going to need all of it. Erebos plays... Diabolic Revelation for four. Okay. So he taps out to do that, but... Oh, and he has to discard, and that's going to help the Sangromancer player. Right now, I'm most concerned about... Okay, so here's the question. Erebus, uh Diabolic Re Re Revelations for four, but... Nath has way more mana, a full grip of seven cards, ways to sacrifice stuff. I'm going to focus my attention on the Nath player because he has more mana available to him. Uh, I've also got Living Death in hand. So first I'm going to play Micaeus to pump all my dudes and then I'm going to send a bunch of zombies after Nath and the Primordial. I probably should have gone in with all my creatures but I screwed it up somehow. He gains a few points of life back but then he concedes. He's not happy uh, for some reason he's not happy. I'm not really sure why. He was in a pretty good spot, but I think he just didn't want to deal with the zombies. Um, 
Erebos tries to play Crucible of Worlds. He's doing this because he's got Cabal Coffers in his graveyard. I do not want him having the extra mana from Cabal Coffers. Luckily I have uh, the ability to stop him and I play Counterspell. Fine. So the next thing he does is he plays Elixir of Immortality, shuffles his graveyard into his library, and plays Expedition Map, sacrificing it to get the Coffers. So that's a lot of work, but he gets it. However, the good thing is now, he doesn't have anything in his graveyard, and I do. Which means that Living Death is going to help me if he casts anything I don't want to deal with. However, I still have a pretty decent sized army here, and I send them all after him. I'm still at 34, he's at 39. This drops him down to 5. And then I play Grimgrin. Okay. He plays Coffers and then plays Mind Slaver. I'm not a big fan of Mind Slaver. Uh, and he targets me with the Mind Slaver. Uh, so, before my turn, I decide to. Um, sacrifice the primordial to Grimgrin to untap him. That's going to bring back the um, evil twin to copy the primordial again so that I can blow up his coffers. Because again, I don't want him to have access to this mana. And then I end up sacrificing a few zombies to um, Grimgrin as well to make him big. Um... So he's kind of at a tough spot right now. I'm not really sure he can do anything with all this hand. He could Living Death, but that's just going to bring back a bunch of my stuff. It should get rid of Grimgrin, though. So if he's worried about Grimgrin, um, that's what he's going to do. I leave a couple zombies behind, but not all of them. I got rid of Micaeus, too. The whole reason I got rid of Micaeus was because, just in case, he did Living Death. He does Living Death. And his reasoning is... Well, if I didn't Living Death now, you were going to do it anyways. And then you place Fleshback Marauder to get rid of Micaeus, I think. Yeah. and then But that hits him twice with my uh, Vengeful Dead and Diagraph Zombie. And basically he says, if I had Coffers, I could have won. Like, yeah, that's true, but that's the whole reason I blew it up. And then he concedes. So Grimkin's not a bad deck. It's a lot of fun. Um, for a zombie deck, at least. I mean, it's it's just zombies. It's a bunch of zombies with a little bit of extra randomness. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that.